what are some mysteries that should be solved by now. The maximum headroom signal hijacking occurred on the night of November 22, 1987, when the television broadcasts of two stations in Chicago, Illinois, United States, were hijacked in an act of broadcast piracy by a video of an unidentified person wearing a maximum headroom mask and costume. Really wish this was solved. The mysteries of the deep ocean. We know about the likes of the deep sea angular fish and colossal squid, but it's probably just a fraction of what else is lurking down there. 1962 Alcatraz escape. Did Morris and the Anglin brothers successfully reach land and lead completely new lives? I love this story because it's been proven over and over again that they could most definitely have survived that swim. The Anglin brother's mother also received flowers once yearly every year until her death and allegedly two mysterious women who no one had ever seen were in attendance at her funeral but never talked to anyone else. A lot of people suspect the women were in fact the brothers dressed in drag. It's speculated they survived and assumed new identities which wouldn't have been hard during a non-digital age possibly living out their years south of the border. Isla Reynolds disappearance in Maine 2011. Maine has 22 murders per year, less than 2 per 100,000 people, most easily resolve domestic violence with open and shut cases. Mysteries don't happen here much apart from Step Han King novels. She was under 2 years old in a house with her father, his girlfriend, not her mom, and his mother. She went missing with blood found in the basement and consistent with Ayla surviving. She has not been found. None of the three people in the house at the time will tell the police what happened despite it being pretty emo. Clear that she was killed by an adult in the house. Their defensive charges are ever brought will be to point fingers at each other and shrug. Maine State Police and EA haven't charged anyone for exactly that reason. Ayla's mother is bringing a civil suit against father this year and most of the state of Maine is watching closely with long, long memories and small communities. She will be found, and he will answer for it, I hope. Michael Dunahy, I went to the elementary school, where he was kidnapped off the grounds. Only lead to this day was, that it was a brown van. It was crazy to live in that town during that time. This name still gives me chills. I was in elementary school in Van Calva, when he went missing. And I remember taking his missing poster home from school multiple times throughout that year. Several years later my school had a flasher. Just some creep who got his rocks off flashing kids at recess and the school started locking the gates. People talking about Michael Dunahy again. I know a lot of parents in the 90s were super paranoid about it given the circumstances under which he went missing. If we are alone in the universe, there's an entire argument for it called the Fermi Paradox. Essentially the argument is, with the extremely vast number of stars in the universe, and the number of habitable planets that must orbit them, it seems incredibly unlikely that someone wouldn't have found us already, or at the very least, we would have stumbled upon evidence of them. All it would take is one civilization in our galaxy to create self-replicating probes that mine materials to replicate themselves to fill the galaxy in relatively short time. What happened to Natalie Holloway? We are about 99.9% .9 certain Joran van der Sloot did it, but what was it? I have had a theory for years. I believe she was slipped a roofie by the three men, overdosed, and died. They panicked and rode her out to sea where they dumped the body. The continental shelf lies nearby. She'd have sank two miles down. Amy Bradley is there, too. The location of Malaysia Flight 370. We can send spacecraft millions of miles into space, yet we can't find aircraft on our own planet. Maddie Scott. A lot of us are fairly sure that she's no longer alive, but someone knows something about her disappearance. All of those people at the party her before she went missing and nobody knows anything. For context, I lived in Prince George from back quote 11-19 respectively. There are absolutely people in PG who know what happened that night. And if the rumors hold up, there's a person in Fort St. James who knows too. It's so frustrating it's a local horror story. But if nobody talks, everybody walks so the Scott family is left without answers. Haven't seen anyone mention the two girls that went missing in Panama. There are only a few photos from the girls' phones. Attempts to call for help. And then apparently one of the phones were turned on later. And the wrong pin was entered a few times. This is not confirmed. If it was just random. Some clothes were found later during a search. 
mainly scattered bones with some skin on them, and one of the girl's bones were bleached, the photos and the bones suggest someone killed them. For some reason there was 90 photos taken, but none of them except for 3 are even remotely clear to see anything. It's chilling as hell. I hope it gets solved one day. Those families deserve more closure rather than what they have now. Crease Crimmers and Listen Froon. I definitely like to see this one solved too although I do think this is a case which could just as easily be as a result of something other than foul play. It's very easy to get disoriented and hopelessly lost in the wilderness, especially in an environment you're not familiar with. The random photographs, it's been speculated, were them using the flashers light to find their way, which seems plausible. And there is plenty of scavenging wildlife in that area, which would explain the girl's remains being disturbed. Missy Beavers. She was murdered in a church that she held fitness classes in very early one morning. There's video that shows the suspected killer was already waiting for her inside the church, wearing full body SWAT gear from head to toe, so that police aren't even sure if it's a man or a woman. It's even more suspicious BC she had changed her class meeting location last minute due to there being bad weather, yet her suspected killer was still able to be there ahead of time waiting for her. Besides the video from inside the church, there's surveillance footage from outside showing a lone car circling in the parking lot, but it's not very good footage. Overall it's one of the weirdest cases I have ever come across, especially BC it didn't seem like anyone close to her had anything to gain from her death. Usually most murders are committed due to a love triangle situation, or so that someone can get some money or something like that. The Sitagaya family murders. A family of four were murdered in their Tokyo home in late December 2000, after which the killer stayed in the house for several hours leaving behind a ton of evidence, clothes, bag, murder weapon, DNA from blood and stool he used the toilet and didn't flush. Despite all this, and literally millions of man hours spent by Japanese police and investigators, they're still no closer to solving the crime. The scary thing is that, something like that happened and in my house minus the murders, coming back from holidays, finding a window just undone, a turd in the toilet, the bed showing signs of someone having slept in, and my PlayStation missing. That was pretty surreal. I can't help but think, what would have happened if I were home? death. I know it's taboo, but if I'm about to die strap every electrode and sensor possible to me then let me slip away. Five minutes later pump oxygenated blood and electricity into my body and brain, and see if I can tell you anything. This could literally result in my own personal freakout, but I'm dying anyway. Don't believe in God, and would do it for the science. Knowing what's going on at Area 51. Just advanced aircraft research. The U-2. A-12. F-117, etc. Captured MiGs from Russia. We all want it to be something more, but that's really all it is it seems. More of a relic of the Cold War than anything else. I think at this stage, if the government was doing some really conspiracy theory level sh, they would have moved that all to a brand new facility by now. The one with the two girls in Delphi, Indiana. It has been I believe close to 5 years since those girls were murdered, and the only clue they had until recently within the last year and a half or so is the voice clip of Down the Hill. I know that more things have been found recently and hopefully that case will be solved soon. Exactly what happened in Tunguska in 1908. The generally accepted theory is that it was a meteor that exploded before it hit the ground. But from what I've heard and read they haven't found any material evidence of that. Also, what happened with the victims of the Diat Love Pass incident? Why are there so many Native American women going missing? And why did the US government only start keeping track of this in the last month? I have a theory that some if not most are being sold into trafficking. My theory, basically I live close to the Kashina Reservation here in northeastern Wisconsin. The reservation is maybe a 30 minute drive from Shawano, Wisconsin give or take. Shawano, Wisconsin is also considered a trafficking hub, as well as Green Bay, Wisconsin which is only about maybe an hour from the Kashina Reservation. The Kashina Reservation is very isolated. What I mean by this is you could very easily kill someone and dump a body in the woods out there and no one would find it. No I do not know this by experience, but what I do know is a young lady by the name of Catalin Kelly went missing on June 18, 2020. 
Her remains weren't found until March 25, 2021 and you guessed it, the Menominee Reservation Forest. The other discerning part about this whole story, is the fact, that she was loved by, so many people, yet none of the people with her that night would open their mouths about who she was with. Next, the Menominee board offered a $5,000 reward for any information leading to the remains of Catalin Kelly and still no one talked. This is weird, because the Menominee Reservation in Kashina is easily one of the poorest reservations in the US. I believe the murder was committed by someone outside the community, traffickers. Many of her friends said that she was a fighter. She wouldn't go down without putting up a fight. Secondly, she had a son who was an infant, giving her even more reason to fight. Personally I believe that she was abducted and proved to be more of an issue than what it was worth. So they just killed her and dumped her body in the woods on the reservation. To this day no arrests have been made and no new information has been presented. The other bad part about this. The Godham United States government is literally present on the reservation. There are fed charges and subs everywhere on the reservation and in Shawano. So either the feds suck at their jobs on accident or the US government is proving what we've known all along. And it's that the US government doesn't give to shess about the indigenous population in the US. And that needs to change.